Resource and sagacity. Oliver is a great western tank engine. The other railway wanted to scrap him, so he ran away. Toad, his faithful brake van, came too. At the last moment they were nearly caught, but Douglas saved them. Sir Topham Hatt was pleased and said that when Oliver was mended, he could help Duck with his branch line. We'll give you great western colours like Duck, he said kindly. That will help you to forget your troubles. Oh, thank you, sir, said Oliver happily. Duck's branch starts from the big station when Oliver started work. He often met other engines there. They all wanted to know about his adventures. Amazing, Gordon would remark. Oliver, said James, has resource and sagacity, put in Gordon. He is an example to us all. You're too kind, giggled Oliver modestly. But he was only a tank engine after all. No big engine had ever said admiring things to him before. I'm sorry to say that it made him puffed up in the smoke box. All trucks are badly behaved, but ballast trucks are worst of all. Donald, Douglas and Duck warned Oliver about this. You think I can't manage? He said huffily. Gordon knows better. He says I'm sagacious. You may be good gracious, but say no more, Duck. It's maybe a pity, but the wee engine will just hate to learn. Today, Oliver took the trucks by himself for the first time. He pulled the loaded ones to a siding and pushed empties to the chute. Then he came back full of confidence to take the loaded wagons away. The loaded trucks were comfortable and didn't want to move. They had just realised too that they had a different engine. Duck we know, they grumbled. And Donald and Douglas, what right has Oliver to poke his muddle in here? Look sharp, puffed Oliver, smartly there. That's not the way to speak, pay him out. The trucks moved off easily and Oliver thought he had them in control. Trucks? He told himself proudly. Darren play tricks on me. I'll arrange them on the middle road and start away as soon as Duck arrives. I can't understand why he says they're so troublesome. They reached the station throat. Oliver's brakes came on with a groan, but brakes were useless against loaded surging trucks. They pushed forward, yelling, On! 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 Oliver fought hard, but that still they forced him on and on and on. Their efforts slackened at last. I'm winning, he gasped. If only, but it was too late. One moment his rear wheels were on the rails, the next they had none. And he was bunker down in the turntable well, with a deluge of ballast all round him. When Duck arrived, he was stopped outside the station and, pla and flagged to the platform. He surveyed the wreckage. Hello, Oliver, he remarked. Are you being a good gracious engine? Beg pardon, of course, but we don't really like that sort of surprise. Donald and Douglas will miss their turntable. Later that day, Donald and Douglas spoke punkently in Scots and Sir Topham Hatt spoke pointedly in English. All three left Oliver in no doubt at all that so far from being sagacious, he was a very silly engine.